Hey everyone, so I wanted to speak briefly about the death of rapper and entertainer Juice World because it's always very sad to me when an entertainer passes away at a really young age and it also makes me pay attention to the people around them because there is such a thing as death energy and soul mounting and also death magic and a lot of times when you see a really young celebrity that has passed away you have to look at the people around them because generally speaking what happens is those people are the ones who tend to benefit the most from that person's death okay so if you're not aware juice world basically was on a flight and the pilot or someone else on the plane reported him or other passengers because they had weapons and so they pretty much knew that once they landed, they would be searched by federal agents and possibly arrested. And so reportedly, Juice World took a lot of Percocet pills to try to hide them from the federal agents. And that kind of raised a red flag for me because I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, you're the entertainer. You're the one with all the money. Why is it that no one around you was willing to help you dispose of those pills, right? So how come no one around you said, well, no, instead of you taking all of the pills, we'll just flush them down the toilet or, um, you know, maybe someone take the wrap for him, right? In exchange for him paying for their legal expenses. You know, why let this young person with a lifetime of opportunities ahead of them pretty much take like a bottle full of Percocet pills. It's, it's almost like someone around him wanted him to be hurt or wanted him to die, right? Um, why is it that no one around him was willing to perhaps say, well, no, okay, you're mad about the guns, the guns are mine, right? Because people always say that there's this no snitch um, policy among certain segments of the poly of the population, you know, why is it that he felt like his only option was for him to take all of those pills? And unfortunately, he had a seizure and he passed away. And it makes me wonder, who is it around him that stands to benefit from his death? Because what we see now happening with Nipsey Hussle, for example, is that you have all of these hip hop figures um, in California and outside of California pretty much downplaying his legacy. You know, immediately after he passed away, people were calling him Neighborhood Nip and they were really celebrating the fact that he gave so much um, back to his community. And I remember I did one or two videos around the time that he passed away and I was presenting the question, you know, was it safe for him to have had all this success and be around people who were less successful? And at that time, that opinion was very unpopular. But now you have people like WAC 100 and I believe The Game and others suggesting that they no longer feel like Nipsey Hussle is a legend. And I would suggest that they're saying that because they want they want his place in history. You know, they they used they used the energy and emotion that surrounded his death to gain more attention for themselves, right? And to perhaps place themselves in front of his audience. And now that they've done that, they're now saying, well, instead of liking him, you should support me and my music. And there is a lot of energy around death because there's so much emotion and chaos around it. And what some people will do is they will use that to um, try to gain from the person's death. I think that people are doing that with Whitney Houston. You know, don't, don't stone me for this, okay? Because I understand that people have the right to tell their stories, but I'm sorry. It's very shady to me that you've had some of her family members saying certain things and now you have her friend, Robin, 
who's now coming out and apparently writing a book and suggesting that they had a a lesbian relationship and I'm like well Whitney is not alive to respond to any of this she's not alive to say yes this is true or no this is not true so why are you using the energy and emotion around her her life and her death to try to gain for yourself you know there there were people in my opinion, who were doing that with Michael Jackson. Um, you know, the people who made all of these movies and these documentaries and so on and so forth. And it's like, well, he's no longer here to defend himself, right? But people were using the energy and emotion around his life and his story and his death to try to gain for themselves. So we saw it with Whitney Houston. We saw it with Michael Jackson. In my opinion, we saw it with Aretha Franklin as well because you had a lot of people who um, were suggesting certain things about her life and, and her relationship with her father and her children. And it's like, well, why didn't you speak out when she was alive? Why didn't you speak out when her father was alive so that he could have been prosecuted? Why do you wait until everyone has passed away and, and you have this story you can tell and you have this book you want to sell? People did the same thing with Amy Winehouse. They did it with Anna Nicole Smith. You know, you, you just see it so many times when a celebrity passes away. And so now I'm looking at the people around Juice World, and I'm like, well, okay, who's going to be the one to come out with a story or a book or a tell-all interview? Who's the one who's going to try to gain and profit from his death? And to me, when you have these situations, those are the people who need to be viewed with suspicion. Particularly anyone in his entourage that was on that plane. Why are you allowing a 21-year-old to say, oh, the best way to get rid of the pills is to take them all? And I would suggest that this is a reminder to um, a lot of young people, right, that you have to be really careful about the people you have around you. You have to keep your circle very small. You want to make sure that you're not participating in any illegal activities, particularly if you have something to lose, because if something goes wrong, you will uh, be the one who has the opportunity to take the most hits. And also pay attention to the people who encourage you to do um self-destructive behaviors the people who encourage you to act against your own interests all right let me know what you think in the comment section do you believe in death energy do you think that there are a lot of people who um try to harness the energy of younger people even if it means that that person ultimately um dies as the result of it and are you suspicious of the people who have the most to gain when anyone passes away unexpectedly let me know what you think and i will talk to you all very soon